Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Sensational here. Welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the month-ish, by month, every two months, um, that I have my seasonal lineup for tomorrow, or rather today, now that you're watching it on Saturday. Um, again, if you guys are playing in the America Seasonals, best of luck to you. Um, and I you know hope that you like your lineup because <laughs> uh i've been in a weird spot this season where uh i took a week break uh went to canada visit some friends and then now i'm back i haven't really played that much this season i was even at some point not even thinking i was going to play in the seasonals so i was a little bit lost and i did and, and i wasn't really sure what my lineup would end up looking like but this is going to be my seasonals lineup we have the Zoe Aphelios by Winding Light. We have the TF Nomulus, and then we have Echo Zillion. So I'm gonna break down. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the lists, um, talk about some cards, and then talk about a little bit about the lineup and what matchups I'm expect or I want to run into, and then my bands. So let's start with the left side. This is probably like the most popular deck I'm expecting. I'm going to be expecting uh, the Aphelios P uh, PNZ Winding Light list to be the most popular deck in the tournament. And so right off the bat, I think I want my matchups to at least be evens or favored into it. And so this is my list. Um, there's a lot of discourse between what cards actually should make it in here. I think I want a third Mystic Shot. I think I'll figure that out before I play tomorrow, but I think I want a third Mystic Shot. But off, uh, regardless of that, there are a few deck slots that I think a lot of people in my discourse have really been arguing about. The first one is two Spacey Sketchers. Um, some people like it, some people don't. I really do like this card because Spacey Sketcher does some really good things for your deck. If you look at the Celestial Pool that um, that this card offers to you, and of course by, uh, by Virtue Zoe, it offers you Moon Silver, which is really good at cheating out Winding Light. For those of you who have played this deck a lot, getting a turn 6, turn 5 Winding Light out is really, really powerful and really tempo-heavy, which is one of the reasons why Lunari Dustbringer is so strong in this deck. Now, if we can get a Moon Silver out as well, this just innate, this is like adds an extra Dustbringer. So you can imagine this as like 4th and 5th copies of Dustbringer, which is really, really insane in this list. Outside of that, Equinox and Crescent Strike just have great utility against Thralls, um, especially for like the Dragborn. Um, we have the Demacia decks like the uh, Broadwing, any formidable unit, um, any scout unit, uh, any like the Drant Sculptor. There's a lot of hits for this. Charger just a 4-1 overpowered, draw, you know, and then Trickster as an elusive, and then Moonglow as an alternate way to just level Zoe and win the game, especially against a deck like Thralls. This can be a really, really fantastic way to the finish line. And so I personally think Spacey Sketcher is a fantastic card in this list. The next one is like main deck Flame Chompers. I think this card is just insane. Um, we already run three Boom Boom Booms, having a few extra ones just to A, ensure that we have um, some extra discard targets, and B, ensure us that we have the ability to go wide for our Winding Light turn or summon units at burst speed is really, really powerful. And we even have cards like Coral Cannon, you know, and the Sketchers as well, Zonites to discard uh, Flame Chompers, which is good. And another reason why main decking Flame Chompers is really good is it adds consistency for suit up. Now this is a really interesting card. Um, you probably haven't seen this card in competitive play ever since TF Fizz, but this essentially can just grow an ally to a 4-4. So this is what Lulu does. So you can grow a Flame Chomper to a 4-4, which is really, really insane at being able to trade down on against like scouts, against the mirror, against anything. Just a four mana or just a 4-4 challenger is so, so insane, especially when you can get it out at burst speed and especially if it only costs 2 mana, if you discard this for free and then you play this for 2, all of a sudden a 2 mana 4-4 four, four challenger at burst speed is really hard to beat. The rest is fairly standard, again I want a third Mystic Shot in there, 3 Get Excited, 2 Sump Dredgers, 1 Vi, 3 Winding Lights. My champion split is 2 Zoe, one, 3 Aphelios, and 1 Vi. I really like Vi, maybe I want a second one, maybe it's 2 Aphelios, 2 Vi, although that might just be like crazy talk. Um, but then 1 Sub Percival. This is an interesting tag. This is the What Am I special. The card that What Am I really likes. And I, I do quite like it as well. It's a 5 mana 5-5 five, five elusive, which can be very good. If you don't have Winding Light, just gives you a little bit of additional pressure, especially when you have all the Flame Chompers to drag any elusives out of the way. It's pretty good. 
it lets you get to the end and then you have a little bit of burn um so that's this list i think this list is albeit not fairly standard still does what this deck wants to be doing uh, but the suit up just gives us that challenger that extra bit of interaction against some of the smaller demasi decks as well as in the mirror and thralls you'll be surprised how much pressure you can apply with this against thralls if you can draw like two of them during your game and they cost two mana just hit them on a poro or zoe also just protect zoe right i think this card is phenomenal enough of that we have the drizzy d the tf nami ode to drizoth um i don't think this list has changed at all since like the last week or so so one ruination one harrowing uh two vengeance as the main removal and the rest is fairly standard uh for those of you who haven't seen this deck before this is a tf nami list um using nami to buff up elusives or just a board state to go really wide and just slam down your opponent a lot of decks right now just don't have the capability to really block a lot of elusives and if they have removal it either gets negated by nami's buffs or it's very expensive and they can only target a single unit or it can go wide with fading memories plus wiggly burble fish and other elusives as well uh probably the strongest i i think debatably the strongest in raw power level of a deck i think there are a few decks that have come close to like try to beat it such as like scouts and their sort of demasi lists but overall i feel relatively confident in my ability to pilot this list where i feel like it's so strong that it's worth bringing but again this list hasn't really changed if i made a video of this list like you know two weeks back and i think it's almost card for card still and then lastly we have echo zillion this is an interesting pick um it, it's a fun list and i do quite like playing it but i wasn't really i didn't really think too hard about what i'm wanting to play as my third deck it was either this or like the fizz ribbon deck or something like that but at the end of the day i just wanted something that was uh strong into aggro which this deck is really strong into aggro and i want another deck that was good against the Ophelios deck and albeit i don't think the matchup is uh, i don't know i don't have the matchup stats against the Ophelios winding light deck but what this deck does have that does really well against the, that Aphelios Winding Light deck is Zillion and his Time Bombs. Because the Aphelios Winding Light deck has to develop into their turn with the Winding Light, you can set up your turn going into their turn with like a Time Bomb. And because a lot of their units have 1 to 2 health, um, a lot of them can get blown up by the Time Bomb, which makes it very, very awkward for them to set up a Winding Light turn. Also, we have fallen feline and excite crystal which again serves a very similar purpose to the time bomb a lot of their units have one to two health if they get buffed by winding light to two health we have hexite crystal just blow it completely out lists are you know uh, they don't have any sort of protection besides like suit ups which i don't even think is like a mainstream kind of card um and then pale cascade so very limited options to protect their units and like two hexite crystals will just completely clear their board um, outside of that, I think like this list, I think Echo Zillion's power level has always been like at a certain level where I think it's like fairly okay. Um, it's it's and it, it's it's probably a little bit less good, you know, than like the Winding Light deck and, or the uh, TF Nami deck in just terms of sheer power level. But I'm still confident in the list. It's a fun list as well. Um, and I'm not taking this season too seriously, but I still think it's a pretty decent pick, all things considered. I think it's good into, it, it's fine into like the, some of the smaller Demacia things, um, where you have like Scrying Sands to trade up, especially like if you get a uh, Echo leveled and you can like threaten Valley trades off of it with that, it's really good. And it's good into Aggro and it's good into the Aphelios. So that's the main core of my lineup. I have these three decks. What I'm looking to ban, um, right now I think I'm looking to ban Thralls. What else am I looking to ban? I'm looking to ban Thralls. I think I'm fine into, I'm okay-ish into TF Nami. Um, I want to ban like any sort of field rush, I think. I want to ban, uh, Bard, or Ari decks. So Thralls, Ari, and potentially field rush. Although I don't really think I expect much field rush. The top decks that I want to ban are, again, the Thralls. Um, even though I think this matchup into Thralls is 
decent, these two matchups suffer a little bit more, which is not really what I would hope for, but I think I need to ban it. Um, Ari Bard, I think the Winding Light deck does do well into it. I think this has a fair shot, but I think this just suffers a little bit more as well. Even though you would think that for the same reasons that it's good into the Aphelios deck with the Time Bombs and the Hexite Crystals, I think if they have a Bard leveled, which you can't get rid of Bard in the first place, so it's going to level, you just really can't get rid of it, and then it buffs your, their board, and so you really can't remove their elusive units from there. But that's my overall game plan. Um, I might change like a couple cards again, try to fit a third Mystic Shot in there. I think this list I'm pretty locked into, and then I might check around for maybe some if someone else is bringing this list but has slightly different cards, and kind of just tinker around with them. But I'll leave the deck codes for these three decks in the description. Might be too late for you guys to steal individual decks unless you want to steal lineup but i'm fairly you know i'm fairly confident that at least it makes some sense i have a solid ban strategy i have a solid target i'm just unsure in the grand scheme of things with matchup tables because i really haven't played that much in the past week or so but best of luck to me and then best of luck to you guys um for the e emea and the apac players who have probably already started or played i hope you guys you know are doing well Make sure to get rest between your sets. Um, and I hope you guys make top 32. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Jason Station. The videos might slow down a little bit um, between now and the release. But until then, I'll catch you guys later. And have a good night. Wait, why did I say night? Have a good morning. Good luck.